So, when it comes to bad things happening to unbelievers, I mean, God doesn't owe them anything. So then the question is then asked, well, then why does God allow bad things, happen, bad things to happen to God's people, to believers? And that's the one we're going to address more in depth today. But, you know, first of all, we have to realize the false presupposition in this question because when a question is asked, why does God um, allow suffering to his people? There's an assumption there that God doesn't allow suffering to people he loves. But it's a false assumption. And we have to realize that there is a false presupposition in that question. It's like when people ask the question, can God make a rock so big that he can't lift it? How do you answer this question? Because they'll say, well, if God can do anything, right, then how can, then can God create a rock so big that he can't lift it? And they'll think that they've got you there because obviously God cannot do anything because if he creates this rock that's so big that he can't lift it, now he can't do everything. Well, we have to realize why this question doesn't make sense and why there's a false presupposition in this question. Because when they ask that question, they're assuming that this rock that God cannot lift can exist. But if this rock that God cannot lift can't exist, then it's an illogical question. So let, let me give an example. Let's say somebody said to you, well, can God, can God draw a square with three sides? You see, he can't do anything. Because if God can do anything, he could draw a square with three sides. But then a square with three sides can't exist. So you see how it's an illogical question. So it's the same when somebody says, can God make a rock so big that he can't lift it? They're assuming that a rock so big that God can't lift can exist. But this rock can't exist, and that's why it's an illogical question. Um, it's the same when people ask the question, well, who made God? You see, there's a false presupposition in that question because they're assuming that God has a beginning. But God is eternal. God does not have a beginning. And that's why it's an illogical question to ask when God started when God doesn't have a start. It's the same with a square with three sides, um, a rock that is so big that he can't lift it. So we need to realize when people ask the question, you know, why do bad things happen to God's people? They're assuming that God doesn't let bad things happen to his people, which is a false uh, presupposition. Let's uh, look at Philippians 1, verse 29. Look at this verse. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. So not only does God allow suffering to his people, it is part of his plan for his people to go through hard times and to have suffering.